Hi, it's Linda. Today I have Homeschooling with Dolphins, Study Six Subjects, Fun Schooling, Curriculum 180 Lessons and Activities to share with y'all today. I love that cover. It's beautiful. And then the back has the, uh, some titles of other Thinking Tree journals. And it says this curriculum covers the subjects language, art, science, geography, social studies, math time, art, and drawing. Activities are projects and experiments, environmental studies, documentaries, research and library skills, audiobooks, conversation, cursive writing, reading and spelling, creative writing, logic, comic, and mazes. Instructions, choose your topics. What do you want to know about dolphins and ocean life? Draw five things you are curious about. And they could draw, they could write, they could even um, cut pages out of a magazine or print something from the internet and put that here. And then the action steps, you're gonna go to the library or bookstore. And you could use your books that you have at home. Bring home a stack of at least five interesting books about these topics. Choose some that have diagrams, instructions, and illustrations. Choose a book or video series with step-by-step -step drawing lessons focuses on sea life. And add math. Choose any math course to make this com a complete curriculum. Use your own math program during math time. And then right here they can draw the covers if they like. Ask your mom or teacher how many pages to do each day in this journal. Eight pages a day is best for most kids. Start each day with a new day page. So they don't have to start or do eight pages, but that's just a suggestion. And um, just this is here to keep everything in one place. Um, a basket if you have, or a tub or container. And pick out new books, draw those covers. And then right here you could have your list of learning tools, the websites, books, um, things that you use that you use to complete this. And here's the today's date and then to-do list. I am thankful for. Draw a dolphin comic. How are you feeling today? And then right here is like a maze. Some things that go to the trash can be recycled and made into new things to use. But first, we need to sort them. So we're gonna sort them down here. And then reading time. Today I will read, and then they could circle the minutes, how much they read. And they could write a little bit about what they read. It says, write and draw about what you are reading. So maybe there was a word that they didn't, um, that they need to know or something like that. They could write that here. We're here, draw, just be creative on that one. Watch a video about dolphins or the ocean. Draw your favorite scenes and you're gonna rate it. And right here is a maze. And then here they get to um, research and write the names of the dolphins' body parts in the boxes. All about common bottlenose. Write down three facts about this animal research and discoveries use library books encyclopedias or the internet to learn more color the parts of the world this animal lives draw my home food and my enemies and again if they can also write or find something and print it out or cut it out and then here we go back to the today's date use a step-by-step -step drawing book or video just for fun, write a story about these pictures. And they can also color these while they're listening to an audiobook or story or something like that. And we have reading time, backyard science, nature walk and nature study. Draw or write about the things you see outside today. Spelling time, pick a letter. Look in your homeschooling books for words that start with this letter, and then they're going to write 10 spelling words. And here's some logic. This is from Dyslexia Games. And here's 
here starts another day. Yeah, their math time uses page for math lessons and practice. Water filter experiment. What did you learn? Listening time. And then here again, it's starting the day. Freezing experiment. Creating comic cursive writing practice. Coloring time. Drawing time. Practice drawing dolphins and sea creatures. And again, it's great that they do practice, but if it's um, something that they absolutely do not like to do, maybe they could do one and then, um, you know, find one in a magazine or something for the others. Just make the journal work for you and your child. Listening time. Creative writing. Maybe right here they could name the fish. Um, give his kingdom a name, place, where is, where is he at, what's going on. Just kind of talk um, with your child a little bit so he could get some ideas. You could even write some words here that, that he or she may not know how to write. So when they're doing the creative writing, um, they'll have some words. Reading time, backyard science, movie time, math time. Relax and listen to the audiobook. And I'm just going to kind of go through a little bit quicker. I'm going to be faster if I just like this. Look at this one. You get to a um, little bit different research here. Copy work. A little bit about recycling here. Landfill experiment. Composting that experiment. This book will give you an idea. If this book is right for your child. Now we'll just go ahead and skip a few pages. Making handmade paper. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Water conservation. And we'll just kind of skip and do the last parts. And there you go. That is this journal. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great day. Bye.